everybody, welcome back to Salesa Ray. It's Desi and today we are restoring a, a vintage Dooney and Burke all weather leather tote bag. I don't know if it's necessarily a tote, but it's kind of like a tote. It has little feet on the bottom and we got some brass hardware and I think the standard tote um, like purse charm that's not included from what I've seen on the internet. Um, I did a Google search and it looks like people are reselling this purse from $75 to $120 depending on the condition. Mine is not all the way put together but I thought it would still be fun to restore her. If you have not seen my last vintage Patricia Legacy bag restoration, I think I published it back in November. Tell me why is this trying to get like a thousand views? <laughs> a thousand organic views on youtube like when did that happen so if you haven't seen my first purse restoration video please see the link below i'll have it um, linked above as well and let me know what you think i am new to this not true to this so i am very open to tips suggestions in that last video someone told me to stuff the bag to regain the shape with my patricia legacy vintage coach purse and it it made it look voluminous i've been wearing it for the last couple months and enjoying it it's such a huge purse here we are with the beautiful all leather bag just to get a closer up as i mentioned we are missing oh maybe we're not I thought we were missing some hardware maybe it's on the back maybe not just missing the tag that was on here so you notice that this is detached. There is some wear on the piping. I don't know if that's even the piping. The edges of the bag. But let, let's get a quick view. Relatively decent, but I may just remove this and then give these a good polish on the inside. It's not much going on. You see the original Dooney Burt tag. I don't know, this looks a little makeshift. Am I? I'm not familiar with these bags with this. I don't know why that's tied in. It's on both sides. Anyway, maybe it's been repaired. Um, zipper, unzip it, and we have. Just empty space, we're gonna give it a brush. And we have two, nice pocket with a class, let's see. There we go, and a zipper. All right, let's get started. So I'm gonna start off, it looks like I could remove these, but I'm not, cause it looks hammered in. So we're gonna keep the straps on. I am going to give it a good brush. Get all the debris out. I also think like it's important to know how to take care of what you have and to reduce your reduce fast fashion like we think that if things are damaged or broken that we have to throw it away and get a brand new one you know in some cases that's the case but not all things need to start from scratch they just need a little TLC so I'm learning that as myself you know, I've been really good at reducing like my impulsiveness when it comes to shopping, especially like with clothes and just buying quick fast fashion things. But you know, sometimes I be in a pinch and I just need that look. However, 
For the most part, when it comes to good quality things, I'm learning to take care of them and just help them last a bit longer on with me. So we're gonna continue to give it a good brush. Oh, I did pay 25, 25 bucks for this guy. And then we'll do a little I'm gonna remove this. Yep. I do also have polishing wipes for for the hardware, so we'll try that. with the back and let's try this out never use this apply liberally using a clean soft sponge do not use a cloth to apply the product allow leather CPR cleaner and conditioner to melt the dirt and grime away and condition the leather for one to two minutes afterwards continue to rub the item with sponge to loosen dirt wipe off excess with a clean soft cloth repeat if necessary all right Close enough. I've seen people use brushes, so we're gonna do that. It says apply liberally. This may be way too much. I'm scared. <laughs>
Alright, so we're just buffing the product in. Make sure it gets absorbed. Trying to get in the crevices. It looks so good. Wow, these were looking green on the sides. So now they look brand, hey, brand new, but they look black again. <laughs> With it already being cleaned and conditioned, we can see a significant change with the edges of the purse. It was definitely coming off green. And now this looks really shiny and conditioned. I can't wait to stuff it and see how the shape comes, comes along. Give it some shape. So I've used these on my jewelry, my hardware. It won't hurt, so let's give these another shot and see how these bring um, these back to life. In case you're wondering, these are the Weeman's um, Silver Wipes. You can use them silver, gold, brass, polishes, removes, and it removes tarnish, but.
how much tarnish came off the hardware. Alrighty, let's have a look. Wow. I'm gonna stuff it some more in these corners. What a fine beauty. Alrighty, look at the beauty from the Beauty and the Beast. She is highly conditioned now. She's stuffed so she can be reshaped. The straps are looking great. And we are in love. The details. may find the original hardware um, tag that comes with it and that should be the final touches or i might find some other accessories for her because she's she's new she's new to me all right guys that is the end of the video now i have to show you the after ah! don't we love her she looks healthy she has a nice sheen, polished hardware. She's, she's ready for the springtime. Don't we love her? So, has a nice sheen. The edges aren't green anymore. We have some packing paper to get her shape, get her weight up. <laughs> she looks good. So, I'm probably gonna let it cure for about 24 hours before I really take her out. Um, but for the most part, I can't even believe like this is the same bag. Can we believe that? So if you like this video or these videos, please give this a thumbs up. So if you haven't already, please subscribe, join the family and watch me, watch me work. <laughs> watch me work, yeah. Shoulder bag, shoulder lean. We love her, we need a name. And yeah, and until next time, peace.